So this is a brand new TV that I ordered for the living room. It's a 65 inch, it's a Septra. It was supposed to come Tuesday on the 30th, but they had a delay and of course with COVID, there's a lot of delays, um, so I'm not surprised, but I'm happy it's finally here because I've been waiting for it. I didn't even want to leave today to make sure I was here because see, they would have left it there and somebody would have stowed it because you can clearly see, even though we don't have any robberies here in our you know, area where we live, but this is very tempting, very easy, even though I have security cameras securing my entire house all the way around the house so they would be caught on camera, but still people forget to look and see that there is a security camera and they're going to be caught. It's just the temptation is so big that they would have taken this. So I wanted to make sure I was here to make sure that it came and that it would be put in safely. But yeah, so I'm, I love this brand of TV. We all have this brand and we're very, very happy with it. Um, so I did, that's the reason why I got this brand and I love that it's a 65 inch because it'll just go so much more perfect in the living room because of course the living room was always a bigger room and that's where the family enjoys watching movies and stuff. It's too heavy for me to put it in by myself. I'm going to try to drag it in or see if my son could help me a little bit, but I'm so excited that it's here. We got that TV because we're going to give my sons this, this TV right here that I have in my living room. I got this TV not too long ago, so it's pretty new. So he's not getting an old broken down TV. I would not do that. I would go ahead and get him another one just like this, which I did offer him. But he said, no, this is TV is, you got this one not too long ago. And I love the size and it's already here. So he's going to take that one for his own personal use. We all have our own TVs in our room. So we all have a TV in our room. So we each have a personal TV. Me and my husband have a real big TV in our bedroom to enjoy. My daughter has her own big TV, which she enjoys in her room. And my son has one, but it's a 32 inch. It's really small. In fact, I didn't even realize how small his TV was. I feel so bad that I didn't get it for him before because he has a huge movie collection like I do. And he enjoys his movies and enjoys watching TV and you know, he's just so grateful for whatever he has that he never asked for anything bigger, never complained. But I was like, oh my God, it's time for him to get something special. So he was going to get the brand, brand new TV. But the way that my husband built that shelf so many years ago, it was made for the fat TVs before flat screens were ever invented. And so the back of it's out so that the fat, the you know how it was big and bulky in the back could be pulled out. And then he has two shelves on the side, which make it, makes it really hard for a real huge TV to be on there. But my son was like, I like your TV. I, I like the way it shows the movies and the shows, and I like the size of it. That would be perfect for me, and you just got it not too long ago. So I'll take that one, and you could take the big one because the living room is so much bigger. And it's a family room, so we'll all enjoy it. It's for all of us, but this will be good for my personal use to have just for me so he's pretty smart and so that's what we agreed on you know this one's brand new because it just got here today but that one's new as well so we're all really going to enjoy our own tvs plus our family tv but this tv is heavy so i don't know how i'm going to take it in my daughter kept saying i hope it comes when i'm here so i can help you bring it in the fedex guy i have a mask on because i put a mask anytime i'm going to answer the door because you never know if they're going to have a mask on or not. So I have to protect me and my family and protect others. So I'm going to do my part. I notice he's come before. He never has a mask on. But I do notice that he keeps his distance. That he drops the package where it's supposed to be. And he's really responsible. He really safely puts it down. But he starts walking away immediately. And if you ask him something, he'll answer it. If you catch him before he gets back in the truck. So he does keep his distance. So he is doing social distancing. I would have loved if we had had a mask. It would have been a little bit better. But um, when I opened the door, which I couldn't even open the door because it blocked the door, he was already walking towards the truck. But I did get to thank him for dropping it off. And I get to, I did get to ask him, is it too heavy, you think, for me to bring it in? And he said, yeah. But he didn't offer to help me either. But that's okay. I don't think that they can bring it into your house, that their responsibility is just to leave it. Plus, he didn't have a mask on, so that was for the best. I wouldn't want him to come in without a mask. I appreciate that at least he's keeping social distance. So, but yeah, so I'm going to try to see if my son can help me drag it in. I can't wait to set it up. I'm going to wait for my daughter to come home. She gets off at 5 for her to help me lift it up 
set it up. I probably my husband will be here first. So he might help me put it up because it has to go on this high entertainment center. That's how high the entertainment center, so there's no way. I can't even drag it in the house, much much try to lift it up by myself. So if he comes first and he wants to help me, that's fine. Otherwise, I can wait for my daughter. She's really strong. She can help me put it up, and at the same time, she can set it up, like program it, all that good stuff. So I can't wait, and it's going to fit. We're going to probably have to move this over a little bit or push this over a little bit and put the speaker on top of the DV, the VCR. And so I can make, because it's going to be so much wider, and I think it's taller as well. So I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm so excited. Um, I'm glad that, um, so you can see it. So, I mean, I'm so glad that I was here. It was supposed to come on Tuesday, the 30th, but they had a delay, which I'm not so su surprised because with COVID, there's been a lot of delays for so many people around the country. And I mean, I've been fortunate for the most part. Most things do come on time for me. Um, I've been really lucky that way, but every now and then I do get something that has a delay. The, they, um, when I looked at the tracking, they did say this had a delay, so it would come on the first. So both days I wanted to make sure I was here because they don't put it in a private box. So this is a 50 inch TV that was in the living room. It's now my son's room. It barely, and I mean barely fit. So what I'm gonna try to do is get um, some different stands so that it can come down a little bit and fit a little bit better and be able to go back a little bit more. So I'm gonna look into that, but he is enjoying watching his TV shows and his movies on a bigger screen. And like I said, this was really new TV. It's been less than a year, I believe. So, you know, he's he's got like a brand new TV. It wasn't freshly new, but it definitely was not old. So he's happy with it, right baby boy? Yeah. Okay. So there's our new 65 inch TV. It looks so great. We are so enjoying it. Um, it fit perfectly. Um, all we have to do is it is wider and it is taller. Those two small square speakers on top of the VCRs, we normally have one on each side of the VCR. So we had to put them on top of a CD player actually that we have on top of the VCR to give it a little extra space. Um, the stereo over here, the turntable stereo, it had that um, graduation frame for my daughter's. It was on the side of it, so we had to put that on top to make room for it. So it was much wider, um, and it's definitely taller, um, but we're so glad it fits perfect. We still have some room. I don't know if we got a bigger TV because we were kind of thinking of the 75-inch, if it would fit because we don't have much more space to go up as far as height. Um, but I would have to look into that. We definitely could do it wider because we could just sacrifice and put one of the side things down on another shelf or at a, on another place. So the width wouldn't be a problem. I would just be concerned with the height. But for now, we got the 65 inch and we're so glad we got that size. We're loving it. We're enjoying it. So, and it looks great in our living room. Yep. So there you go. Well, I received this huge box sometime this morning. It had to be before 8 because my daughter had to work at 8. And she sent me a message saying that it blocked her. She could barely open the door. She had to keep pushing, pushing until she got it out of her way. Um, but she left it here for me inside. She didn't want to leave it outside, um, which I appreciate. <laughs> but it's heavy. I don't know how she got it in herself because my son was asleep. But she's really strong. I mean, she could carry some heavy stuff and a lot of stuff at one time. So I'm not surprised. But I'm really happy. I believe it's my infused, my lavender infused pillows. But I only ordered two, but they're keen. So yeah, I could see how keen would fit in this box. What I'm hoping is, I'm sure I didn't, that they didn't come in a set of two. And I put two, so I actually got a set of four. I don't think so. Because I really look at stuff and um, I take screenshot of it. Screenshots of it. I can't even talk. I'm just waking up. Um, screenshots of it before I order it and I kind of read it again and make sure the that I have the right quantity and that I have the right size and all that stuff. So I checked it. So unless I missed that part. But, you know, if it is, that's great. 
I really want it for, but my two bottom king size pillows are really good. They're not as strong as I would want them to be, but they're not the ones we sleep on top of. So they're soft and cushiony, but <clears throat> they're not the strong memory, memory foam that I like, even though they are memory foam. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. But um, like I said, they're, they go on the bottom and it was more so to just like decoration on my bed just to cover the entire bed from side to side. Because even though my bed is queen, queen pillows don't cover my bed. You st if you put them together towards the middle, you see the edges of the bed. And if you put them separate, then you need to put something in the middle. So it's weird. <laughs> even with comforters, it's like that. Even though my bed is queen. Many times, queen comforters don't cover both sides of the bed. One side of the bed is shorter, so sometimes I need to go to keen. But then if it's a whole complete set, I can't because then the sheets don't fit. So it's a complicated issue, <laughs> but I always end up figuring out depending on what I'm getting. So I can't wait to open this. I put that envelope on top of there because I want it to cover my address. Don't want to show my address for safety reasons, of course. Um, so yeah. So I can't wait. I've never bought lavender infused. I bought bamboo once and I've had bamboo, but the last time I tried to buy bamboo once, you could smell it so bad. And I'm like, I cannot sleep with that smell. Sometimes, some people say it goes away. Some people say it doesn't. And I've had another set of bamboo and I don't smell anything. So it's kind of like the luck of the draw, I guess. Um, and then I found out sometimes it's in the case, the covering of the pillow, not directly the pillow. So I don't know, it's a confusing issue. So I kind of stay away from the bamboo type of thing. They had charcoal infused, which I was afraid of like, no, charcoal doesn't do it for me. And then I saw the lavender one and I love the look of it. I love the reviews of it. And I loved um, the shape and everything. I just really researched it and I liked everything about it, the pricing everything so I thought I'm gonna try this purple's my favorite color not that that make a difference because the pillowcase is covering it but I also heard that lavender is good for sleep I know people rub their babies and their kids they massage them with lavender it helps them to sleep after a nice warm bath um, they say if you put a lavender plant in your room it really helps you to sleep if you're having trouble with sleeping I I've experienced that big time before and it's the worst feeling ever to have insomnia or because of anxiety or depression not to sleep for like months at a time I went through that severely bad and I don't wish to pun anyone um so I know what it's like um so anything that can help me have a good night's rest and sleep usually if I don't sleep it's because um of my back or my health um but other than that lately thank god you know it hasn't been because of anxiety or stress um so yeah, I heard that if you put a plant in your room, I'm not, I'm not facing the camera to me because I just woke up. I'm in my pajamas. I'm not makeup on. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet, but I saw the big old box. I'm like, wow, let me just do a quick video on it. So yeah, so hopefully that will work. It also said that in the reviews, I believe, for good sleep. So one, I brush my teeth and wash my face and all that stuff. I'm going to come over here and open it for you and show you what I got. And stuff like that. So yeah, I have another small box up there as well. Um. <laughs> okay, so I just opened the box with my knife. I'm gonna see what we have here. The paper. Okay, so it's in these bags. It is two. There it is. It looks silver. In the in the picture, but it is classic lavender infused memory foam pillow. So this must be the other one in this bag. So let's check it out. Okay, here's the first one that you saw on the bottom of the box. It's definitely a king size pillow, and like it says here, it's a classic lavender lavender infused memory foam pillow. I'm so excited to try it. What I'm going to like, hopefully, <laughs> is that now all four of my pillows will be the same size. I tried that before and it didn't work because my husband was not comfortable with the top king size pillow. And I think he said because it's too big to turn over or move around, that was one of the problems. And it was bothering his neck. It wasn't as comfortable for his neck as he wanted it to be. So the top two pillows went back to being 
some other ones that I bought because I think I bought like three sets just trying to figure it all out. Um, so he finally got comfortable with the second one I put on there, but it was a queen size and I kept my bottom ones keen size to cover their entire bed from side to side. Um, and it's not the one that we sleep on, so it didn't matter. Even though, like I said, it is memory foam. It's nice and cushy, um, but it isn't like that strong, firm memory foam that I like. Um, and when I say firm, I don't mean it's hard as a rock. It's just that perfect sink in, but doesn't get all floppy. Um, so I hope you understand what I'm saying. So this one says memory foam conforms to reduce pressure points between shoulders, neck, cervical vertebrae, so you sleep in a natural, relaxed position. Um, it also says, cooling knit fibers in the corner provides natural cooling properties for a noticeably refreshing surface, which I usually have to have a, a ice pack, and I flip my pillow so that it becomes cool on the other side, and I keep flipping it so that it stays cool. I hate a warm pillow. Unless it's like summertime, uh, winter time, but I don't even think then. Uh, memory foam is ventilated for continual ear circulation while you sleep. Air is able to travel throughout the material and dissip dissipates body heat, regulating your body temperature. Lavender infused memory foam has a calming scent for a relaxing and rejuvenating night's sleep. So that's what I was telling you about earlier. I always heard about that. I like the lavender just because it's purple. It's one of my favorite colors. But I've always heard about that is that it's good for like anxiety, for relaxation, and for getting a good night's sleep. So a lot of people will get those um, oils and people will put plants in their house and stuff like that. I'm not a, I'm not good at plants. I do not have a green thumb. They look at me and die because they already know what's going to happen. I wish I could be good at it, but I'm not. So I guess this will be the... the um, next best thing and you can see the lavender plant here in the photo so i'm going to open the other one which is this one make sure it's the same thing i should use scissors for this i should not use a knife because i feel like one day i'm going to slice it by accident and i'm going to be so upset so and i usually do scissors but i just get sometimes i'll just the first thing i'm i reach is a knife so so it is the same thing. It was just in that plastic. I don't know why one was and one wasn't. I don't know. I guess they figured we'll just package the top one to give it extra um, protection. But let me go backwards. So there it is. It's the same thing, same size. So I'm going to open this up and see what we got here. Oh, my God. It feels so good. Right away. I just grabbed the corner and I can feel it. Oh my God, this is the memory foam that I like. There's several different ones. There's the ones that um, are a bunch of like pieces of foam. Um, it's called shredded foam. And that one pillow that I said that I held on to dear life and I still have it, it's in my hallway closet. So when I lay on the couch, I'll use that one. It is my all time favorite. It's made of that. So go figure. And then there's some that are made that start off good and are floppy and cushiony, kind of like my bottom ones. Um, they would not be the one I would use as a regular pillow as my top pillow because it just kind of, it feels flimsy to me, but at the same time, you do feel that memory foam cushiony, but it's just like weak. I would use the word weak. It isn't the one that I would count on for support or stability or or comfort or any of that. It's just soft and cushiony, good for a bottom pillow that you're not going to use um, for sleep or for support. It's just for bottom pillow. If you use two pillows each like me and my husband do, some people just use one pillow. So you got to go for the best if you're just your only option or you only want one pillow, you got to make it your best pillow. In our case, um, like I said, the two bottom pillows are more to cover the bed when I dress the bed and make it look real pretty. It covers the bed from side to side and it just gives us some extra bottom support for our top pillow. But our top pillow is the one we focus on. That has to be the best of the best. That's our main pillow. So, oh my God, if you could only fill it to the camera. It's even better than the pillow that I'm holding on to dear life. At least my first impression is that. Oh my God, it's so good. Look. Oh my God, it's so good. And I love it that it's gonna be the same size as the bottom. 
I'm hoping so bad that my husband goes for it. But he's like, yeah, okay, this is good. I love the way it feels on my neck. And I don't mind it being so long. I could still flip it. So, yeah, I hope he can get into it. In the picture, I'm going to show you the picture because I've always, always show you a picture uh, photo of the order that I did so you can know the exact name, price, and options and stuff. It looks silver. So, but then when you see the other pictures as you're doing your research on it, it just show like purple in the inside. It's... I don't know how to explain it. So I didn't, I thought it was going to be all purple or all silver because it looks silver in the picture, but it was just going to be lavender infused. But no, it's white with purple lining. This is the other side of it. Oh my God, this is going to be so comfortable. And of course, people sleep on this because it's a zipper. You open this up and you put in your washing machine and dryer and reuse it. I don't. I still put an extra pillowcase on it so that I don't dirty this and this could stay on there and I'm just washing the pillowcase. So I'm trying to open this. Zipper's kind of stuck, kind of scary. Oh, there it goes. So this is what it looks like in the inside. So it's definitely not that shredded foam. It's definitely a whole piece foam, which is what I saw in the, um, in the picture. So it's a whole piece foam. Look at that. So I love it, and it has another protective cover on top of that one. So yeah, so many people will sleep right on top of this because this is like a protective um, pillowcase. So you could just unzip it, take it out, put it in your washing machine and dryer, and that's fine if you like to do that. Many people do, probably most people do that. Um, but I don't, I like to put pillowcases on so I can, this one can last longer and I don't have to take it off. Um, and it could stay nice and perfect and not get dirty or anything. Plus, my pillowcases match my bedding. So, I have to have pillowcases because this wouldn't match all of my bedding at all. I have different designs and color styles of bedding. So, my pillowcases match the bedding. So, I have to have pillowcases on. And like I said, to me, it gives it the extra protection where I don't get the original cover dirty or anything. And it's just like, it's nice and thick too so yeah i i just keep this on there at all times take really good care of it and just depend on my pillowcases which also serves to match my bedding as well so i'll give it a try tonight and let you know what i think of it and i'll definitely tell you what my husband thinks of it because he's very picky and i i understand because he has to be comfortable he has to feel like it gives him support and it's you know, it gives him good sleep. If he has to battle pillow, it's not worth it. But if anything, if he has a severe problem with it, and we've done this before, I'll let him keep at night, like I'm letting him keep, like I control, <laughs> no. Uh, I'll just respect that and let him, not let him. I hate when it makes it feel like I control him, I tell him what to do, I'll let him. No, he can keep, um, which he will, he, he's going to do what he feels best and feels comfortable with. So if he feels his old pillow is better, then he could sleep with that at night. And I'll just put these on, you know, when I dress my bed and put my whole bedding together. And so that way the pillows are the same exact size, both top and bottom. And they'll look and feel the same. So I'll do that. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. I feel like I'm lost for words or something. So, yeah, so we'll give it a try tonight. Um, I didn't tell him I was buying these pillows because I didn't want him to freak out like, oh, you bought so many sets of pillows. When is the one, when is it going to be the one, you know? Um, and he feels like, you know, you're spending money when you don't have to, we're good. But I really, and yesterday I noticed it more when I came home from the hospital and I was in and out of sleep that my neck was hanging. And you'll see that in a clip of my hospital, of my surgical procedure video, uh, my head was hanging and I felt like my neck was starting to hurt. And I have felt that before I tossed and turned with the pillow. It's not a bad pillow. Um, it's doable, but I felt like I tossed and turned with it and I didn't have, it was very, it was getting flatter. To me, it felt like it was getting flatter. Even though when I put it on the, when I dressed my bed and I put it back together, it looked big and fluffy and firm. So, 
I don't know why I felt that. I just felt like I needed it to be a little bit higher for my neck, for my comfort. And I noticed it yesterday that I'm like, oh my God, I'm really sinking. And, and it's not that you really sink in the pillow. It just, it was too low for me. It was really too low. And I was so tired from the surgical procedure that I had and, you know, being on medication stuff that I really wanted just to rest and have a good sleep. And I, the pillow was my enemy at this point. And so I didn't want it to be. So, um, yeah, so I'm glad that the night before I had research and boy, it took hours and hours, actually took a few days of looking into it and not being able to decide. And it's hard when you have it online because you can't feel it. Like if you go in the store, it's better because you can feel the pillows, but online you can't. And so, um, yeah, it's hard. So you're really taking a chance, but the best thing you could do is just read the reviews. If there's videos, watch those videos of people actually sleeping on it and then, you know, pressing their hand to kind of give you an idea of the thickness and the comfort. And so it took me, God, a few days, if not a week, to really pick one that I was willing to take a chance on, and this was the one. And so far, I am so, so impressed, and I cannot wait to sleep on it. Now I have to go and put um, pillowcases on it. I'm gonna put it on the bed. I'm not gonna tell my husband. I'm gonna put it on the bed, and then I'm gonna let him go to sleep and see if he notices the difference. If he's like, this is not my pillow. I don't like this pillow or, wow, this is really comfortable. Whatever his reaction is, I'll definitely let you know. Um, but yeah, so I just want to get his natural reaction. I don't want to foretell him because then he'll be looking for something that he'll be already freaked out. Like, oh my God, here we go again. Like, this is not going to work. I love my pillow. I want him to give it like, you know, be open-minded without knowing that it's a different pillow and just see what he says, see how his body responds to it. Or his... So I just wanted to give you a before look before I put the new pillows that I got right here. This is the bedding. I have many bedding sets, different colors, different designs. This is the one I have on right now. But I really, what I really wanted to show you was how my pillows are right now. Not the decorative pillows, but the actual pillows on my bed. As you can see, the bottom ones are a keen size pillow. These right here. These keen size, I think I said keen size, right? These are queen size pillows. And this is the pillow that my husband thought, okay, this is the one. I'm really comfortable with this pillow. It's the right size, the right thickness, all that good stuff. But I couldn't find it in keen size. So I thought, okay, the important thing is our comfort and what we're happy with. So I went with that and it's okay. It's doable, even though they're two different sizes. The important thing is that the bottom was keen because like I said, it covered the bed from side to side. Even though my bed is queen, it's really weird. Queen size, as you can see here, if these were on the bottom, this whole space, would be seen on both sides. So it's weird that I really had to start using keen size pillows to cover the bed from side to side. But those are always the bottom pillow. They're kind of like decorative pillows, but not because they are under our necks. So they do um, have make a difference in our comfort it, and it makes the top pillow higher, of course, so it does have an impact on us. Um, but it was more, like I said, to cover the bed side to side. Um, this pillow, like I said, it's memory foam, you know, it's good quality, but it's not as firm or it doesn't have that complete comfort that I am looking for like crazy. So I'm glad it's the bottom pillow, um, but it's the top pillow that is the biggest impact and these are old pillowcases, um, but I want them to be the same size. I think it just doesn't look as good as it could if all the pillows were the same size. So that's why I was into getting the top pillows keen size. But I'm hoping that they're not too big because my husband is like me. We like to flip our pillows to get that cooling side. It's supposed to have a cooling ingredient in these new pillows. So hopefully that will help and we don't have to toss it around. Or like me, I put an ice pack in between the pillows to keep it cool. So when I flip it over, I get a cool side. Then when that gets warm, I flip it over and the ice pack has cooled the other side. So... Yeah, it's a lot of work, but you do what you have to do for your comfort and your happiness. And so I don't mind, but I'm just trying to find the ultimate answer 
to our comfort and our happiness as far as pillows are concerned. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these new pillows on. Um, these are queen size pillowcases. That's the only thing. I don't know, I don't have this color to match the bedding for the new pillow case for the new pillows. I didn't think about that. I forgot to pay attention to that. But I didn't know I was gonna use this bedding either. So we'll see. I'll let you know what I did. Okay, so I just changed them. Um, you can kind of see the design through the pillowcase. And actually, this pillowcase is queen, but it does fit barely. It, it fits it like, how can I explain it? Perfect, but at the same time, um, see, it fits the co complete pillow. So I'm so happy because I didn't even think of buying um, pillowcases. But you can see the very little edge peek out there, but that's okay. So it looks good. I'm already loving the height. I'm already loving the look. So I'm just praying and hoping that my husband will like it as well. But if he doesn't, we'll figure it out because I want him to be happy and comfortable. So that's what matters. And then when I dress the bed, I could just use these to dress the bed. I'm going to keep it because I love the pillow. Um, but we'll see. I'll let you know. Whatever happens, I'll let you know. Okay, that's the look.